So the moon will take center stage on Sunday night. We actually have two separate things that will be happening. As Ella mentioned, we're going to have a total lunar eclipse. So essentially the moon will appear a reddish color. It will partially start to happen at about 1030 on Sunday night. And then that total eclipse will happen closer to 1130 at night on Sunday. And that will continue through about 1230, 1 o'clock on Monday morning. And then the partial eclipse will end just about 2 o'clock. So again, the bottom bottom line here is that the moon will appear red. The reason why is because the sun, its rays will hit earth first and our atmosphere will scatter out most of that light except for the red light from the sun, which will make it to the moon. And that's why the moon will appear red. It's also called a blood moon, by the way. In addition to that, we also have a super moon because the moon will appear larger than normal. So again, the moon taking center stage on Sunday night, if you can, stay up. We're forecasting partly cloudy skies, so it's possible that you will be able to see this. I also want to say it is okay to look at that total lunar eclipse with your naked eye, unlike the solar eclipse, where that is a little bit more dangerous. By the way, the next time this will happen after Sunday will be on November 8th, so you'll get two opportunities to do this at this point this year. Some really cool stuff happening on Sunday night, and the roads are also looking 